GCV gang, what's good? Shout out to the GCV gang. We God's chosen vessels for Christ, baby. Everybody hit that like button. Hit that share button. And if you care, hit that subscribe button because it's about to get live all of a sudden. We in a building, baby. Shout out to all the GCVs. What's good? Look, I got something special I want to talk to you guys today. Stop letting fear immobilize y'all, okay? Worrying solves nothing. Praying to the power of the infinite source inside you solves every little thing, all right? Stop letting worry immobilize you. People are so worried about this and worried about that, they're going to keep their pockets flat. That worry is going to stop you from going after your dream, y'all. Don't let it. Don't let that worry hinder you from uh, reaching your goals, okay? The power of that infinite source inside you is all you need, okay? All you have to do is go to the source within you, and all your needs will be met. Stop worrying about how you're going to pay your bills. That worry is what's separating you from getting that blessing. That worry is like a a force field blocking your blessing coming into your life, okay? Stop worrying about where you're going to get food from. We all been there. You all, your, your needs are always met. This is why I keep saying how we differ from the birds. The birds don't have to worry where they're going to get their next meal from, and neither do you. God will bless you in miraculous, mysterious ways, okay? God's ways are past finding out. You'll be walking around and find $5,000 on the ground, okay? God's ways are past finding out. Whatever you need, just like the animals out in, in nature, their needs are always met. Just because you're a human and God gave you free will, that, how are we different? Doesn't the Bible say, how are we different from the birds? We're just like the birds. The birds wake up, go out and fly, food everywhere, anything they need everywhere. They'll never lack or want for anything. All their needs are met when they go out into nature, when they're out in nature, okay? Same thing with you when you go out into the world. As God's child, when you go out into the world, all your needs will be met if you so believe. According to your belief, so be it unto you. All right, stop letting that weird that worry get to you. All right, that worry is a program from the devil. That worry wants you to that worry wants to take hold of your mind so that you don't think about God, okay? That worry is an entity is is and, and is jealous. It's trying to get into the place of God. It's like, "Hmm, how can I get in her mind so she can stop thinking about God and start worrying because I need some energy. I need life. I need to find me somebody who worries so I can inhabit their mind, their spirit, and their body and just turn them into some huge worry wart. Okay, they'll have people worried about what they see on the news. Stop watching the news all the time, especially when you wake up in the morning. All right, let somebody else tell you about that. That's what I do. There's so many people that watch the news that are connected to the world mind. And I'm telling you, they'll let you know. You don't even have to watch the news. These people will let you know. Stop starting your day with worry. Okay, they give you a whole thing to worry about. Famine, uh, death, uh, people getting shot. Uh, how dangerous it is outside. Uh, they give you uh, politics to worry about. They give you other people's problems to worry about. Okay. They give you germs and viruses and everything to worry about. Before you walk out the door, you got about 10, 20 things on your mind that you worried about. If you're one of those people, why would you want to put yourself in that position when God is peace? God is love. God's not worry. God's worry free. God is a, a, a assurance. Okay. God is discernment. God is knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. There's no worry with that, okay? I'm not I'm not worried about anything that goes on in the world. I will prosper regardless of world conditions, okay? My prosperity does not depend upon the world. My health does not depend upon the world. My finances do not depend upon the world. We on fire today, baby. Put in the comment section to say my prosperity, my health, my wealth, my success does not depend upon the world. I better see it in the comment section when I look down there, GCV gang. Our prosperity is not dependent upon the world. What are you worried for? God's ways are past finding out. God created the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, volcanoes, birds, trees, air, water, lightning. Okay, God is the master phys- physicist. God is the master manifester. Okay, God is the, the, the mastermind. Okay, and matter of fact, here's another thing. God is the mastermind working through me now. Don't be afraid to put in the comment section and say, God is the mastermind working through me now, okay? God is the mastermind in you, all right? Your mind is God's mind. Your thoughts are God's thoughts. What are you doing worrying about anything? 
Okay, if you're focused on your health, your organs are God's organs. Okay, your heart is God's perfect beating heart. Your lungs are God's perfect breathing lungs. Okay, there's there's nothing wrong with you. Once you connect yourself to the Most High, okay, they may have said this, that, and the other, but once God is perfect health, God is the idea of perfect health in me, and I accept it. What are you doing worrying? There's things that you could say to keep worry away all day. Okay, you don't have to worry. You can call on the Lord Jesus Christ in a hurry. Okay, let God fight your battles for you. That's what they mean by that. Okay, let the infinite source fight your battles for you. You know how you get a scrape and you get a cut and that heals on its own? That same power in you is the same power that heals anything else that's wrong. All you have to do is have the awareness, infinite source in me, just like you heal anything else on the regular. Whatever issues are uh, uh, contaminating my health right now, clear them out and give me perfect health. And you say that about five, ten times a day, every day for a whole week, man, you'll be feeling as healthy as a newborn baby out here. It's all about what you say to yourself and don't knock the repetition. Sometime, don't knock the repetition. If you don't feel it, you don't feel healthy, say I feel healthy about 50 times, you'll feel healthy. You trick your mind into whatever state of mind you want to be in. But it's the same thing. People will do the opposite, be like, I'm broke 100 times, and then wonder why they're broke. Or they would be like, oh man, I'm so worried about this all day. Just worry, 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 worry. And then wonder why they can't sleep at night. Wonder why they have anxiety and they can't even go to bed because they spend their whole day worrying and they don't clear that worry out before they shut their eyes and go to sleep. Okay. It's certain energy that you don't want to take to bed with you, to bed with you, y'all. And that's a whole nother video. You don't want to take that worry to bed with you. Okay. Cause you'll take it into the next day. That's a whole nother video right there. I'm gonna make a video about the, the eight things you don't want to take to bed with you. All right. You want to let that worry go. You don't want to hold on to that worry. Okay. It's, it's, it's taking up space in your mind. All right. Imagine worry being a whole bunch of negative, like imagine worrying being a negative bank balance. When you put good, when you put money in the in the, your bank account, you're still gonna. If you're worrying, if you put money in your bank account when you have a negative balance, until you pay it all the way off, you still have a negative balance. So worry is the same way. If you still have a lot of worry in you, when you say positive affirmations, that that little bit of worry is still gonna be there until you get that worry all the way out. Okay, it's just like a negative bank balance. You have to keep depositing positive thoughts, right? Whoo! Oh my God, we on fire today. Thank you, Jesus. Keep depositing positive thoughts into your body, into your spirit, into your mind, until all those negative thoughts are gone in due time, okay? It's just like a, a negative bank balance, okay? When you put in a money into a negative bank account, it's going to go all the way back to zero, all right? You have to make worry go all the way back to zero. Keep depositing positive thoughts until those negative thoughts, worry, fear, whatever, until those negative thoughts turn to zero, all right, they flatten out and then you keep putting more positive in you. And now you got some positive thoughts saved up. Now you got some positive energy saved up. OK, now you got a full bank balance. You got a million dollars worth of joy in you. You got a billion dollars worth of joy in you. You got a billion dollars worth of peace, happiness, love, success and prosperity in you. According to your belief, so be it unto you. I'm not saying I'm not calling myself anything other than a billionaire for the rest of my life. And I might even go higher than that. And, I, and I, I usually do, but for the sake of this video and the law of attraction says start small. So we're billionaires. We're starting small. There's no number that you can't have. There's no nothing that you can't have. All right. If you, if you don't want to worry, you don't have to worry. You can have peace of mind. If you don't want to stress, you don't have to stress. You can have peace of mind. Whatever you don't want to hold on to, y'all could let go. But no one ever told us this. No one ever taught us this. Since a kid, we've been holding on to all that. Man, since a kid, we've been holding on to all that. People wondering why you messed up, why you got issues, why you got this, why you got that. You holding on to everything from your past, except a good memory. Say, don't be afraid to put in the comment section. Say, man, I'm scanning back through my past and I'm only remembering the good <laughs> and everything bad. I'm chucking it. I'm getting over all that bad. 
I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to um, let worry thoughts enter my mind. I'm not going to worry about my wealth. I'm not going to worry about my finances. I'm not going to worry about my health. I'm not going to worry about my job situation, my career. Look, God is there for you to have a, a peaceful mind, y'all. When you, when you truly, I mean, truly believe in God, you don't have a worry or a, a, you don't, you don't have a worry in the world. You're carefree. All right. You don't have a thought of worry in you. And if it enters your mind, your, all your thoughts are just beat it up. That, that, that worried thought, that negative thought turns into a punching bag. Just boop, 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 boop. Get that out of here. What we have to do is not worry. It serves no purpose. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to get you what you want. You could worry about it all day long. It's not going to get you what you want. And unfortunately, when you worry about it, you're actually bringing on that thing that you're worried about. When you're worrying and you keep worrying, that thing is getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to being manifested in your reality. That's why it's not good to worry about things because you're you're drawing it to you. It's like a magnet. That worry is a magnet. And it's like whatever you're worried about is flowing to you. Just like when you focus on good things, you'll have good things flowing to you, but it's all up to you. It's all up to the decision that you make to what you choose for yourself. If you want to have a worry, some people don't want to let that worry go. Some people are addicted to the neurological pathway that worry has taken in their brain. When you have a thought, it takes a neurological pathway. That's why they say change your thought patterns. That's why they call it mental pattern, because it's the same pattern that that energy, that that thought wave uh, goes into your mind and say it takes the same route. And what you have to do is you have to give yourself a different thought. You have to think something different. So your your um, ideas and your thought waves could take a different neurological pathway. So they won't be taking the worry pathway. They won't be taking the worry route. OK, they'll take a different route of your mind where your neurological pathways are experiencing no worry. OK, you can look this up. This stuff is real, folks. Stop worrying, all right? God is there for you. I'm telling you. Why? What are you doing worrying when you have God, okay? You have Jesus in your life. When you truly believe these two guys are in your life and they're working for you and they're helping you and they're aiding you and they're making sure you have a perfect day and you get to where you're going. They're making sure you're safe. They're making sure you got food, making sure you have money in your pocket, making sure you got a full bank account, making sure your uh, your uh all your bills are paid, your rent is paid, making sure your family's all right, your mama's safe, your dad's safe, your kids are safe, making sure your whole family's safe. All right. You believe in God, your whole street will be safe just all because of you. Your whole street will be, you'll have the safest street just because you're there. All right. Chosen vessels, when we come around people with our prayed up energy, with our worry free existence, other people want to be worry free. Other people want to do better. All right. So, you know, a society is dependent on you, chosen vessel. Don't be worried out here. You have to be a light. You have to be the light in the world. Okay. You have to be the uh, example that God is real. So, don't worry about these situations. Don't worry about these circumstances. Okay. There's nothing to worry about when you have God in your life. Be that light and let other people know that, hey, you don't have to worry when you have God. God will take care of you in the blink of an eye. There's nothing that God can't do, all right? He, God can achieve the impossible, all right? He said he will uh, help you in the wilderness, and he will uh, make rivers out of a desert. There's nothing that God can't do. Rivers out of a desert. Have you seen a desert? Deserts are dry, and there's no water. My God says he'll put a river in that desert. That means if your life has a, if there's any droughts in your life, if there's any dryness in your life, blessings are about to rain that pour down and overflow to you. If you believe, if you stop worrying, if you accept it and don't worry about it, all right, accept that God's going to bless you, accept that God's going to make some things happen for you in your life, to you, as you, through you, in you, for you, okay? Accept the fact that God's going to do some things for you. Accept the fact that God's going to put you in a, a, a state of mind and into a place mentally and physically and uh, materially that you'll never have to worry about another thing in your life ever again. You got to get to a point. You're, um, you're going to get to a point where you're so blessed and you have no stresses, no worries, no nothing. You're going to be too blessed to be stressed. You're going to be anointed and never disappointed. And you're going to be standing under the spout where all the blessings are pouring out. Okay, as long as you stay focused on not worrying and focused on that good and bringing that good into your life and making that good manifest, all right, and and kicking those worry thoughts out 
Okay, you got to be ruthless with the inhabitants. When the Bible talks about those inhabitants trying to break into the land, it's talking about negative thoughts trying to break into your mind. That's what that means. Whenever somebody's trying to infiltrate some land or somebody's trying to uh, uh, get into the land and they don't belong there, it's referencing it, it, what it really means is referencing negative thoughts trying to enter your mind. So keep those, you know, keep those uh, negative thoughts out of your mind. Keep those people out the land that don't belong. OK, keep them, people, them thoughts out your mind. Keep those worry thoughts out your mind. Stay worry free. If you're ever worried, pray to God. Say you some worry free affirmations. I am not worried. I let go of worry. I am worry free. I have nothing to worry about. The spirit of worry is not in me. I will not worry about anything. My God takes care of all my needs. He pays my bills, put clothes on my back, shoes on my feet and food on my table. Because God is always able, and because of him, you are always able. So, brothers and sisters, GCV gang, God's Chosen Vessels, thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. And if you care, hit that, uh, hit that I said, sorry about that, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. And if you care, hit that subscribe button, okay? Thank you for watching this video from the beginning to the end, my friend. And if you have to, rewind it, okay? And if you have to take notes, watch it over again, watch it to as many, watch it as many times as you need to get this worry out of your life. Okay. There's nothing wrong with a little repetition. I'll see you all in the next video and be blessed.